Just look at the giant 534 and see some of the things that make her the wondership of the age. She represents the supreme triumph of marine architecture and engineering. Let us give you some idea of her size. The Thames at Tower Bridge is 940 feet wide, nearly 100 feet less than the length of this colossal ship, which overall measures 1,018 feet. The Houses of Parliament would be completely hidden were it possible to put this monster liner in front of them. Here's a window cleaning job. Just count the portholes as we go along. And there are as many more on the other side. The Holland machinery will weigh 50,000 tons, and no less than 10 million rivets have already been used as fastenings in the hull structure. The four main turbines of 200,000 horsepower will revolve four 35-ton bronze propellers. From keel to superstructure, she measures 135 feet. Take a look at the pygmy workmen underneath her. Follow the camera up to the deck. Note her well-raked stem. There's strength, power and speed there. Now compare her to the men on top. If we were there, we'd be almost as high enough to shake hands with Nelson on the top of his column in Trafalgar Square. Here's the bridge. Underneath will be the dining saloon, wide enough to take nine double-decker motor coaches abreast, with enough room above for three large locomotives. For the thousands of persons she will carry, there are 12 decks. This is the boat deck. Every safety device that human ingenuity has yet invented will ensure their safety. Come on to the bridge and look forward over Clydebank. As we follow the camera, we see the enormous height of this mighty vessel, an ocean colossus which will eclipse anything the world has ever known in size, power and speed. As we stand here and we see some of the thousands of men who've helped to build her moving below, the world is dwarfed, for we're as high as the monument in London. This is 534, the pride of the Clyde, which is in the background and in whose waters she'll receive her baptism ere she goes out to make more world history.